This is not a kid-friendly show. <laughs> Yo, what is really good, my dudes? Today is May 2nd, 2017, and we got another RuneScape update for y'all. I'm hella hyped about this one, to be quite honest with you. We see the release of Shattered Worlds. Now, Shattered Worlds is a single-player mini-game that sees you traversing fragmented worlds, and in order to continue on, you have to take on waves of monsters. Not only that, you will get side missions that you will come across that vary in difficulty and size that you can choose to optionally take on as you're going through these waves of monsters and exploring these new fractured worlds. Now before I get into any more detail, let me talk about where you go to partake in this. Now this is a members only mini game, however it is located in the Lumbridge Swamp towards the southwest of the swamp itself. It can only be accessed and engaged with on members worlds, so just bear that in mind. So back to the game itself, not only while you're traversing through these new worlds are you fighting monsters, but you're also going to start to gain these things called mutators. These are basically just buffs and debuffs that will not only happen to you, your character, and the monsters, they can happen to the environment itself and cause environmental hazards or environmental buffs that can aid you in killing higher level monsters. Now as you traverse through these worlds, the monsters as you would expect are going to get much much more difficult to take on up to world 4000 which is the hard cap. Now realistically you're never going to reach that because monsters at that level are extremely hard with very large HP pools. We're talking in the billions per monster. Now that all sounds fun and exciting and engaging but you might be asking yourself why would I be doing this? What is in it for me? So first and foremost there's a new currency that it's going to go in your currency pouch that you can earn from simply killing monsters in these worlds as well as looting from a reward chest that you access every five worlds you complete. This new currency is called Anima and you can earn rewards like a new ability for ranged, a new ability for melee, new items called sigils that go into a new equipment slot that will aid you in combat, a new nine stage pet that has nine different evolutionary stages as well as the slayer masks you see on treasure hunter yes you can now get those through an in-game means by simply buying them with anima that means that iron man can now access the slayer masks which is an awesome thing to hear now the worlds do hard cap at 4000 however jagex sees people reaching their wits at around 150 worlds at that point, they expect it to be too difficult with our current gear, etc. to keep going. However, I'm sure the most dedicated of us will exceed that and, in fact, surprise all of us. With that being said, that's pretty much the update in a nutshell. Man, I am excited and I'm going to grind this out and play it till no end. Anyways, with that out of the way, my dogs, let's just jump right into this week's patch notes. Not a whole lot going on this week with the patch notes, but let's just go over them quickly. The bar crawl requirement on some achievements should now be ticked off correctly. Completing the Phoenix Lair won't give a pop up for a rise from the ash every time. You will need to complete the fight again for your master quest capes. Remove the full stop from the end of easy journey to the center of the earth alter achievement the pop-up for a trip to the east should now work correctly pinning paths will now work correctly with the hide completed filter toggles the temple at Sististan's kudos requirement now appears correctly again in the quest interface a number of spelling errors within the spring fair have been fixed music tracks fun of the fair Angel of Death and Angel of Death Prelude now correctly unlock while Music Shuffle is enabled. Iron Man can now access the Chinchampa Map Store and buy outfits with Spring Fair tickets. Anagogic Orts no longer drop while riding the Bucket Burrow at Spring Fair. And players can no longer obstruct pickaxe wanging at the Spring Fair. And the following here is just hotfixes that went live 
throughout the week so those were already in game prior to this update today anyways that wraps it up for the game update and the patch notes links to both of those will be down in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself should you choose to do so anyways i am excited to start playing this game update that's it for the video guys liked it if you liked it if you're not subscribed yet, you want to stay updated on things RuneScape related, then hit that subscribe button. If you want to contact me in-game, pop into my friends chat and say what's up. Or you can always go to the Discord linked below. I appreciate you watching my dogs. I am out. Peace.